guys, I'm Common Rider Silver, and today we are back with a review of the Haya Toys Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Kong. This has to be one of the most highly coveted Godzilla figures right now. Everybody wants this figure, and I almost didn't get him. I did not pre-order this figure because I thought he would be easy to get, but then once those pre-orders sold out, he was nowhere to be seen. But luckily for me, Big Bad Toy Store pulled through miraculously and had him in stock. I was checking every day and there he was. They even sent me the sticker, so shout out to them. This figure is worth all the hype it is getting. Uh, but before we look at the figure, let's look at the box, because it is a big box. You've got this big box with this orange theme that we've seen for most of the Godzilla vs. Kong um, promotional stuff. It says Exquisite Basic Godzilla vs. Kong. Got the nice banner. See the figure? This is a tall, tall box. It came in a huge Big Bad Toaster box. And then you've got your Hyatt Toys branding on the back. And the figure actually, funny enough, comes packaged like that. So that's why the box is so big. Bringing the box out of here and taking a look at this figure. Right off the bat, I wanna do some comparisons between this figure and the other Godzilla versus Kong slash Godzilla 2019 figures that we've had from our companies like Bandai and NECA because I think that's what really makes this figure so good is that when you see them in comparison, oh my gosh, it is night and day. So right here I have the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2021 from Godzilla vs. Kong. And this, you know, has a, a an atomic breath effect going on right here, except it doesn't come with an atomic breath effect, which is insane. But anyways, just look at this. Just look at this. I thought this figure looked pretty darn good. Aside from the head, I don't really like this kind of nose point right here. But just take a look and, oh my gosh, the Haya Toys Godzilla looks like like the CG model come to life. So that's that one. Now let's bring in the NECA Godzilla because I think the NECA Godzilla is what people are kind of comparing the Haya Godzilla the most to because, you know, it turns out NECA was actually onto something here. You can, you can see the similarities. You really can. Uh, especially kind of in this head region and the spines, the dorsal plates. NECA was onto something. You know, they don't have the license anymore, and, you know, if, if Haya is the one who took it, I'm very glad because this is a crazy amazing figure. But NECA was onto something. And I think that's that's very interesting to see how the Haya has taken inspiration from both SH Monster Arts, but really a lot from NECA. So let's come in and let's look at this figure. Oh my gosh. Look at that face. You know, at first glance, it looks a lot like NECA. It really does. But then you kind of take a closer look, and it's 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 its own thing. And the thing that it does really good is is accuracy to this Godzilla. If you look at kind of this front profile, there's something about the shape of the neck and the head, kind of this triangular. I don't know. It's the silhouette that this Godzilla has that this figure captures perfectly. He's just big and bulky and beefy. And the paint is really, really nice too because it's got a lot of that, you know, inside the scales. There's those browns and kind of tans and stuff. It's quite a bit of it on the tail right here. Um, but throughout all of the figure, here on the leg and here towards the top, it's kind of a rusty looking Godzilla, which is which is true to what we see on the screen. And I think the eye on this Godzilla is some of the best we've seen on a Godzilla figure for Legendary. You know, it's a good red eye. I think that's pretty darn accurate. Especially, you know, when you see him fight Godzilla on the aircraft carrier, he's got those menacing eyes. He is out for blood. So I, I think one of my favorite parts of this figure is that front, the profile from the front. That is intimidating. More from this side. His tail is, you know, nice and long. I, th I think it's proportional to the figure. 
it does kind of end in just this stub, kind of stubby, but I think that's pretty much accurate to 2019 and 2021. So the overall look of this figure is just beautiful. The paint right off the bat, no customization involved, is really, really good. I really do like it. On the dorsal plates, there's even like some lighter tan kind of in the in the sculpt, which really kind of brings it out. I really do like that a lot. Wow, look at that. And this neck. Uh, I, I know a lot of people have kind of gaps when they're posing it, and it is true. You can get a little bit gappy, but you can kind of move those neck pieces a little bit, and it's not so bad. Wow. Okay, now going over articulation. I was thinking that the articulation was going to be closer to NECA. And in some places, yes. Uh, but in other places, it's kind of closer to the SH Monster. It's, and then in some places, like the head, it's all its own. So kind of let's start at the head. Uh, underneath all of these rings right here, there's a ball at the top of the neck. And then there's like a hinge down there, if you can see. Um, so that gives him some good range right there at the head, but then also he could really kind of crank it down and combine those. See, there's the gapping a little bit, but you kind of move the the rings and it's not so bad. Uh, he looks down really good. He looks up pretty darn good. The gapping a little bit, but there you go. You move the rings, it's not so bad. And uh, yeah, so then it looks like at the bottom of the neck, there's another ball joint. So you can really get some nice movement in there. The mouth has a hinge, you know, you need to open it like that. It looks really good. And his tongue, that is also on a hinge. Very cool, very cool. And then coming down to the arms, kind of got some movement there. I think it's uh, probably a ball joint in there. The elbows don't move as much as I'd like, maybe, but you get some out movement. Not as much in, but it's pretty good. And there's a ball joint at the hand right there. And then here at the waist, this actually surprised me quite a bit, is that you can crunch about that much, but then he can, let's see, I got it to do it before, there we go, there's that crunch. He can crunch pretty darn good, and then it goes back. On the NECA, that's kind of non-existent. Oh, that's something that's always kind of annoyed me, is that this crunch is kind of just, you know, it just kind of gaps right here, it's not really a crunch. And then on the monster arts, I've always kind of thought the crunch was a little bit weird, how you got that in there, but it, it's kind of, he kind of crunches from the top of his stomach, or the top of his chest. So I think Haya has a perfect blend right there of coming down at a, at a good point, but also having some movement there. And then at his thighs, some really good movement right here. You can go in and you can go out. Um, and, you know, he can swivel all the way around. There's actually a double joint at the knee right here, kind of like the Monster Arts, but it, it actually functions pretty darn good. You can get that kind of crunch right there, and you can get it to extend straight. Um, so it's right here and right here. And sometimes this bottom one, you gotta kind of uh, you gotta kind of push in the sculpt a little bit, and then you can get a little more crunch right there. The foot is on a ball joint, so you can kind of get that like that. And then the tail, this is where I think it's most like the Monster Arts, except the tail doesn't fall off. Uh, you know, it's kind of connected here at the top, and then you've got... It feels very much like the Monster Arts right here in the way that the tail moves. So you can get this guy into some awesome poses. It's not the best pose in the world, but this guy is amazing. Now for sizing this guy up, this figure, one of its main selling points is that it's a large figure. Uh, I mean, in comparison to the Monster Arts, it's a lot larger. So here, let's take a look at that. You're looking at, you know, he's measuring at about seven inches, a little bit above that. And depending on how you pose him, that could even be a little bit larger. Bringing in the Monster Arts. I think I showed it earlier, but look at this. Look at the size comparison. Wow. 
And I know for, I don't have the SH monster, it's Mechagodzilla, but I know that maybe Godzilla seemed a little too small for him at the time. So I think this Haya fits in perfectly. So just, just, just take that in a little bit. The size comparison and how they look, just, 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 just take that in a little bit. Look, look, look how much different that is. That is crazy. Bringing in the NECA again. The NECA is a little bit hunched, so, you know, maybe it's not super fair. Maybe it feels a little more up, but still, he's much larger than the NECA. And now bringing in Kong. Now, I dislike this figure because it popped apart, so that is very frustrating. Uh, so I'm interested to see what Haya will do with Kong, but <laughs> you can kind of see this is a funny matchup. Um, Kong's really, really small. Uh, so, I mean, that's kind of a cool... I, I, I think it's I think it's kind of cool that Kong's small and you can really have him beat up on a large Godzilla, but uh, I don't think these two are in scale. So definitely check out the Haya Kong coming out for probably a better look at that. And then here is another figure I wanted to look and see how they compared. This is the Bandai Movie Monster Series Godzilla 2019. They never made a 2022. So, <laughs> uh, you know, this guy's really kind of the largest one we've had so far for my collection at least. And the Haya Godzilla is that much larger. So there you go guys, there was a look at the new Haya Toys Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Kong. Is this figure worth the hype? 100%. This is the best legendary Godzilla that we have right now, and probably will ever have. I don't see, uh, obviously, NECA coming back, and I don't see Monster Arts beating this in any other iterations. Now, this figure is very rare right now. Uh, Haya Toys was not putting out as many of these as we thought they were going to, so... Prices on this guy are in the 200s and 200s and 300s. I would not pay that for this figure. This figure was meant to be cheaper than the Monster Arts. It retails for $50 here, at least in the U.S. on Big Bad Toy Store. I don't know if High is going to be releasing more, but please do not pay those crazy, crazy prices. Uh, I, I do think Haya will be releasing a Atomic Breath version and possibly a burning Godzilla version at some point and they're releasing Ghidorah and Mechagodzilla so this line is not dead it is still going to be going and there could be re-releases so please do not pay even 150 you're gonna regret it keep checking Big Bad Toy Store that's what I did I, I had no chance really of getting it pre-orders are sold out but I checked every single day and there was a 15 minute window where he was in stock and that's how I snagged him so Definitely keep checking Big Bad Toy Store, but do not pay those crazy prices because I guarantee you will have another chance, maybe not right now, but another chance in the future to get this amazing figure. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!